Greetings, saints, and grace to you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Billy D. Welcome to today's Moments in Ministry. Some believe that Christ's resurrection took place late Saturday afternoon. They interpret the phrase, end of the Sabbath, as drawing near its close and as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, as approaching sunset on Saturday night. But this interpretation is not only inconsistent with the rest of Matthew's account of the resurrection, it also does not harmonize with other Gospels. Mark writes in Mark 16 and 2, very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. Others believe the woman were at the tomb late Sabbath afternoon and found it empty. But notice the next verse. They said among themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? If Jesus was gone, why would they return to ask for help to roll away the stone 12 hours later? The word dawn, as used in the Bible, refers to early morning as day breaks. It doesn't dawn towards sunset or darkness. The words at the end of the Sabbath actually belong to the preceding verse. The original Bible manuscripts didn't contain punctuation to separate sentences. The writing was one solid line with no commas or periods or spaces. The verse just before Matthew 28, 1 also teaches us which day the women came to Jesus' tomb. It describes how the Jewish leaders were concerned that Christ's disciples might steal his body and went and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone and setting the guard. Matthew 27 and 66. But when did they approach Pilate to secure the tomb? On the next day, which followed the day of preparation. The tomb was sealed on Sabbath with guards, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away. This confirms that the women could not have come to the tomb on Sabbath afternoon, but rather on Sunday morning. Here's a slice of today's bread of heaven, Matthew 28 and 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sceptular. Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So until we come this way again, may God bless you and keep you, is my prayer.